afternoon, everyone. I want to thank you for coming out and watching our presentation. My name is Jaden Folk. I am a mortuary student at Tidewater Community College, and I want to show you Folk's Consulting and what we do and how we're trying to revolutionize the funeral service industry. Let's begin. Our mission is to alleviate burdens in the funeral home business. Um, there are a lot of times in funeral service where technology is lacking and we're not up to date with current times and traditions and things like that. And so I want to offer funeral homes the best technology at the most affordable price and with a trusted person, me, to serve them the best ability. It's a 24-7, 365 business and a lot of times you don't see people that really do that anymore. I want to be able to service my clients all the time whenever they need me um, because that's just the nature of the business that we're in. We're solving a problem. It's a digital problem. The world's changing, but my industry isn't. I'm a changer, I'm a mover, I'm a shaker, and uh, I want to do something totally different by um, showing people that funeral service can be something that can work with TikTok, that can work with Snapchat, that can work with Instagram, and I want to put the power of technology back into my generation and show people that you can have this funeral service, but you can make it so memorable, so unforgettable, that you serve your community and your friends, and you share your brand's image through your live streams and through other services that your funeral home wants to offer. Now let me tell you a little, about, a little bit about me. I had a lot of adversities in my life, but I thank God for those and they make me who I am today. They make me the leader that I am today. Uh, I was diagnosed with ADHD very early on in my life and uh, when I found that out, uh, <laughs> I just adapted. That's all you can do. Um, people aren't gonna feel sorry for you, but you need to learn what's gonna work for you. And uh, I had the option to either take medicine my entire life or culture myself in an environment where I could be the best person I could be. So that's what I decided to do. And uh, I told my doctor, I said, I don't wanna take these medicines anymore. Let me be me, let me be creative. That's part of who I am. Uh, just recently, I was diagnosed with type one diabetes now the life hurdle I had to overcome there, uh, put the chocolate bar down, Jaden, that was kind of hard to tell you. <laughs> a few months ago, I just couldn't put it down, but, um, and then I learned that to be the best you to serve others, you have to be the best you within. And you have to make lifestyle changes. And it's hard, and it's not fair, and I had my moments, but it made me stronger. It made me realize that I'm here with a purpose and a reason, and I have a community of people around me that care about me and what I'm trying to do. So you have to create an atmosphere of people, mentors, friends, doctors, that are gonna support your vision and support who you are and trying to become. Now after that, I continue to work a series of hourly jobs and discover that I like working for me. <laughs> I like answering my own phone. I like having time off of my job. I like, I like being able to travel whenever I want to, but I also like having one-on-one -on -one connections with my customers. And I said, if I can do that for these people's brand and the customers keep coming back, and I can do it for myself and people will keep coming back because they can trust my judgment when I'm telling them and they know they're getting the best version of me and I want to show that my company will give you the best version of me as well. Building relationships with trust. I'm in the funeral industry. People don't trust you. They're actually really scared of you, believe it or not. And uh, you wouldn't believe how many people wouldn't shake my hands uh, for the longest time. Um, I started off in the removal service so early on in my life, um, 16 years old, I had the opportunity over the pandemic to connect with the funeral home and get involved there. Um, they let me, they opened their doors to me, let me walk around, tour, see what the business is really like, and even sometimes help out from time to time. Just imagine a 16 year old doing your grandma's funeral. It's kind of, I got a lot of resistance, but people, people trusted me and put that trust inside of me, so it made me a better leader. Um, also here at TCC, I was able to become the president of the Leaders of Tomorrow Club and we're revolutionizing entrepreneurs in every way we possibly can by showing them the ropes, giving them the entrepreneurship skills they need to be successful, and helping to support local businesses. Because this is your community. You're a part of your community. You want your community to grow, expand, and be an industry leader. And it only takes one person to get that change started. So be the change. You can do it. it just takes an idea and a willing heart. Secondly, Fitchett Man Funeral Services. As a local funeral home in my area, I had the opportunity to work with them and study and show them some of the technologies that my clients were offering. They picked up on it, they trusted me with their funeral home, and I was able to serve them to the best of my abilities with solutions and 
A, to help grow my business and grow their business, and I'm glad to say they're still a happy client of mine today. Life never stops teaching. Community involvement. I was always in the community, helping out where I could, volunteering. Uh, I was in DECA, I was in other organizations, I was doing things at the church, the youth ambassador. So I made sure I was very involved in my life with the people I could touch, the brains I could touch, and I, I never let what I saw bad about people affect the good in them. Because I see good in everyone, no matter their background or what happened to them. So I always try to motivate them in the inside. Um, my first business idea was a funeral service assistant. It was revolutionary and changed the way funeral homes use database administration to manage their funeral home payroll and things of that nature. And um, I was able from then to connect through LinkedIn to a client in Canada. That was one of my first clients that offered technologies to my funeral homes and why I still do business with that client today. Um, he explained to me the difficulties of the development side of technologies and how long it takes. So I kind of put that idea to the back burner for a little bit and did more of the consulting side. And he just kind of walked me through it and helped me out. But I, I do still see a vision for FSA under my umbrella corporation, Folks oh. Consulting. And then for Bay Memorial Services, that's my Canadian client that I work with. And he offers live streaming technology. It was powerful to see that I could work at my young age with somebody, a grown man in Canada, uh, through the power of technology. And he's actually had the opportunity to come to Virginia, allow people to use it, see it, and we've been on foot ever since. An innovative mindset. One thing about me is I always think outside the box. I was never an in walls kind of guy, and that's probably why uh, school really wasn't built for people like me, because I like breaking barriers. Uh, I was a sales consultant for Bayer Memorial, and I helped expand horizons, and I learned some hard lessons about funeral business. Um, you go in their funeral home while they're having a service, and they really don't want to see you right now. <laughs> so that was kind of awkward from time to time, but I learned. I, I, I tried to meet the owners, tried to meet the business managers, tried to get in the atmospheres where my target market was, and I was able to do that this December by getting invited to the Christmas party. Um, so now, folks consulting where I am today with my business. Right now I'm in technology consulting and solutions. This is a $20 billion industry in funeral service. There's room for you to grow, there's room for you to make money, and there's room for you to expand. And in the next form of my business, I want to offer more technologies to offer my funeral home clients so they can use and grow their businesses. It's very stagnant where they are. A lot of them are still on pen and paper kind of a model. They need to change, they need to evolve with the rest of the world so they can better serve you and your family. And here's the answer. Offer funeral homes the best products, the best services, at an affordable price. And that's where Jay Folks Consulting Firm comes in. I have the technology portion, I have the funeral homes very well, I know the industry very well, and the technology people, their brain doesn't really work with the funeral service industry. So what I did was, I put two and two together, I said, I can broker a deal between you and you. And a lot of funeral homes came to me and said, we can't afford the service. So I'm the negotiator. I come in and say, yes you can, we can cut a deal, we can do it. They pay me a subscription rate, and they pay me for selling their service, and we continue to grow together. And what makes me different is, I really try to impress my, my customers and take every opportunity that I can to help them grow and succeed. If that means the late night phone calls, driving to the funeral home during an active service, I had to do that, believe it or not, a few times. Whatever it takes to show you that I'm trustworthy, because technology companies aren't gonna call you every day and check on you and say, hey, how's your iPhone working? <laughs> Same as it did yesterday. <laughs> you gotta be innovative, you gotta make change happen. So that's out for that presentation portion of it. Um, I just want to add on a few more things that I want people to understand that when you live stream a funeral service from wherever you are in the world, it should be able to touch you where you are. Touch your heart, touch your family, touch your community. You're all in that room together. It's an environment. Cultivate a warm and friendly environment and the customers will continue to want to use you and be a part of what you're doing. Thank you. <laughs>